All right, this is week four, day one, here in Cancun. I'm gonna go do a little run on the beach. Good morning again. It's week four, day one, but I just had to stop for a minute because as this sun is coming up, this is such a gorgeous day. Did about a mile and a half run down the beach here in Cancun. You can just see, you know, what a spectacular day it's gonna be. Um, just enough of a run to break a good sweat. Pretty humid here, so not too hard to do. But uh, heading back to the hotel, see if I can wake the family up. We've gotta go to a presentation and we get a free breakfast. And then, uh, I've been to so many of these, I know exactly what it's gonna be. 90 minutes, let me see if I can get out in 90 minutes with the breakfast, so that's the goal. And uh, in any case, trying to help people out, out, out down here in Mexico because tourism has been, as you can see, I mean, it's first thing in the morning, but it's hardly anybody on the beach. Not sure if it, under regular conditions there would be, but a lot of these people make their live livelihood off of tourism and so some people get compensated on how many people they sign up to go to these presentations other people get paid on you know if they sell something during the presentation all that kind of stuff so anyway a little bit of an inconvenience but just trying to help out a little have an awesome day I'm gonna finish my run All right, today is week four, day two, and it is the day that we have to go back home. It is raining a little bit this morning, but it still feels really great. Got out on a, I'm, I'm two, almost two miles in on my run this morning, came back from that way on the beach so at least do around four miles thought I'd share something really fun last night that I got to do um, of course as, as we were on a beach here in Cancun and I just running across this um, up by our hotel there was one of these nests as well but these are turtle nests and of course turtles come up on the beach lay their eggs go back out to the ocean uh, and then the little turtles will hatch and they need to be uh, able to go back to the ocean so what the the lifeguards do around here is they will um, dig up the the natural nests and they'll put them in a um, fenced off area like this so that the animals can't get them and last night what we were able to do because there were 102 little baby turtles that hatched um, last night the lifeguard let us um, assist in letting them go so that was pretty cool we got to do that down in Puerto Morelos as well um, but they really were keeping us kind of uh, away from the turtles but here, there are so many. And what's so funny is, as you release the turtles out into the water, and you do it at night, so that the, you know, the birds and stuff aren't able to just swoop down and have a feast and eat them. And only about 10% of them 
even survive, even by doing it this way. So what we did is we um, uh, released them, and what would happen is because of the hotel lights, many of them would swim backwards and come back up on the sand and try to head back uh, up on the beach. So we were scampering around, grabbing them, putting them back in. It was like herding, herding turtles and uh, trying to get them to go out into the water. It made me think about on the 10% piece, only 10% of them survive. And I think that's very similar to a lot of times when people set goals. I don't know what the exact number is, but I'm guessing that it's a pretty low number. Maybe 10% actually stick to their goals. So let's be one of those turtles that survive and make it out into the, uh, the ocean. And what happens is about 15 years later, as they mature and become adult turtles, they will migrate back to where they, um, they hatched and where they were born. So if I were to come back here in 15 years, uh, I'd be 65, maybe I will. And uh, see if I'm sticking to my own goals. Hopefully you are as well. Hopefully this is a motivating day. Even if it's a light rain or something, just make the most of it and uh, just do your best. Have a good one. Hi everyone. It's good to see you. This is week four, day four. And to be honest with everybody, I missed yesterday. Yep, got home from our vacation on Tuesday night around midnight. I did my run that morning, but yesterday, as I got back to work, by the time everything wrapped up, had some family things going on and an activity with the youth at our church. And so I could have gone running later, but I just didn't. So it is what it is. But today, back at it. Just finished four. Have one mile, more mile to go. <clears throat> Walking this hill. And back at it now. Finished strong. All right, here we are doing a hike. This is week four, day, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, six. Day six, and it just happens to be our anniversary weekend. So here I am hiking with Susie, and we're having a fun time. Going up hills, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, we just came from way down there, and she says, there's no rock to sit on? I said, no, not unless we go up over that hill over there. So that's where we're going to go. We're having fun, though. Can I go jumping punch with Oma? 